In this video, we will look into how the Ember Viewer software with guided annotation and kit score can help you get a simple and efficient workflow when analyzing Ember development and deciding which Ember to transfer. Click your confident threshold to 85% and select Auto Forward in settings under the section Annotations. This means that all estimates above the confident threshold will automatically be annotated and the video will only start at estimates with a lower certainty for check and manual annotations. This is an example of a patient with their five cultured embryos. To get optimal benefit from a time-lapse system, few annotations are required. To start the annotation, go to the annotate page. Select the kit score day five version 3 annotation strategy from the drop-down list. This is the list of variables included in this strategy. For each variable in the strategy, guided annotation estimates a timing or morphological grade with a level of certainty. Values depicted in bold italic will automatically be annotated. The video will only start with the remaining variables displayed in non-bold estimates for check and annotation. Here you see the well numbers. The light blue color indicates where you are and what to annotate. The first variable is P and check. These are the possible values and the small boxes guide you to the keyboard shortcuts. Let's try to mimic a real situation where you want to check all O sites for fertilization at a convenient time on day one. Choose step by well to check all O sites for PN number. To make a quality assessment, use the keyboard up and down arrows to change focal planes. The oocytes were correctly fertilized and has two prenuclei, so we select the value 2. Then continue the PN check for the remaining oocytes. When all oocytes have been checked for PN number, go to the Compare and Select page. On this page, we can choose to view the annotated PN status for all oocytes. The oocytes that have two pronuclei are marked with a green dot. The oocytes that were not two PN are marked with a red highlight. Mark all oocytes that are not two PN with a red decision icon. This will exclude them from further annotation. Wait for further annotation on the day of transfer or until it's convenient for you. On the day of transfer, go to view slide page. Mark all embryos that have not reached a stage that you will consider for transfer or freezing with a red decision icon. These embryos are now also excluded with further annotation. Return to annotate page. Choose step by variable to annotate all remaining variables for each embryo. Now the software will guide you to the first estimate with a value that does not appear in bold italic for check. Adjust if needed, use the arrows. When the progress is noted as 100%, you have annotated all variables required by the strategy. To make your annotation process more efficient, change the confident threshold to a lower level. More variables will then fall above the confident threshold and fewer parameters will need to be checked manually. VitroLife recommends starting with a high level and then lowering it once you feel confident in the program in order to gradually make the annotation process more automatic and efficient. To evaluate, go to Compare and Select page. To rank variable embryos according to a set method, choose the appropriate model in the drop-down list. Since we are evaluating a day 5 culture, we will select kit score day 5 in this case. The model will calculate a score to support the decision of which embryo to transfer and freeze. We have now seen how the analyzing and evaluating embryos can be efficiently done with simple strategies in guided annotation and kit score. 
If you would like to learn more about guided annotation, kit score, or other aspects of using Emboscope time lapse system, watch specific videos on these topics or visit our website.